fluffy ones, angry ones, furless ones, cozy ones, stuffed ones, and of course, playful ones. They were all competing for the prize of best in show. The show is a massive affair and I'm surrounded by over 400 cats and trade stands. It was the first time the event was held at the Fenton Manor Sports Complex. Even the TV stars of the cat world were at the show. It was up to the team of judges to decide who's the worthy winner. But what are they looking for? We're looking for the Burmese for a very nice head. And when she does that, gives a very nice Burmese expression, makes them look cross. Well, there could be only one winner, and eventually two and a half year old Jasper was awarded best in show. Fantastic, yeah. It's never, I've never done this, never got best in show. So, no, it's just amazing. Yeah, fantastic. It takes a lot of preparation. Yeah, you, you're doing it all the time. It's just like a regular daily thing, not just for the show. It's something to do every day. I think it's a difficult job for the judges to, to judge and uh, I think to, to be the most hated person on the night because you've judged that somebody else is one other than your cat. Uh, takes a strong constitution and a strong person but at the end of the day the winner is a lovely a lovely cat plans are already underway to make next year the show's 25th anniversary another successful one it's a lot of work to put it together we've st we will start next year's show just after we get home now we'll start organizing the judges and the classes again um, and then we'll just start again. It's just a rolling thing that every year you just carry on. It's been a great turnout here at the show with lots of gorgeous cats. I'm sure they've all had a perfect time. It's Kieran Jones reporting to Staffs Live. <laughs>